This week we'll learn how to create custom picture styles in the camera. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace. Well today, I want to talk to you specifically about shooting everything in camera and creating a custom picture style so that as soon as you click that shutter, everything is finished and you don't have to do any post-production. You can just get it right in camera. Now this is done on most cameras using something called picture styles. If you're on a Canon camera on my Fujifilm X-Pro1 here, it's called uh, film simulation. If you have a Nikon camera, it's probably called picture control. Uh, but the key thing to understand here, they're called different things, but they do essentially the same things. They allow you to, in your camera, create custom presets that you can say, I want my image to be really highly saturated or desaturated or black and white or sharpened or not sharpened, and you can change the tint, things like that, and so that you can customize how your camera processes your JPEG files for specific shooting scenarios. If you're shooting a portrait, you don't want super highly saturated reds. It makes people look embarrassed. But if you're shooting a scenic photo, you probably want everything to be really saturated so all those flowers and mountainside kind of scenes pop. And so you can do that and you can customize things. Well, the nice thing is most cameras come with presets built right in. So let's take a look. I'm using my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a very popular camera. We're using that so we can just show you these uh, menu items here. And so when we look into the menu here, the first thing that we see is our picture style. And right now it's set to auto, but I want to say, I don't want it to be set to auto where the camera sort of tries to figure out what I'm shooting. I want to prescribe how my camera should handle these images. So when we go into our menu here, we can see that we have all these different picture styles and these can come shipped with the camera. And uh, they have auto, standard, portrait, landscape, neutral. And these uh, are things that sound and do exactly what they sound like. So if you're shooting a person, you want to use portrait, a landscape, you want to use landscape. So if we dive in really quickly here, you can see what's happening. So on this, we have our sharpness turned up just a bit for landscape, but our contrast, saturation, and color tone are still set to the middle. Um, and we can always go in here and say, you know what, when I shoot landscapes, I want things to be more saturated. So you can just click on that and then you can increase your saturation or you can decrease that. So you can take what the uh, picture styles are that come with your camera and you can do some changes to them. So let's take a quick look at how these work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a standard uh, picture style and we have Stunt Pig standing by right back here and I'm just gonna take a really quick shot of Stunt Pig. When that shows up, you can see it's a standard picture of Stunt Pig. So we don't have a lot of uh, contrast, we don't have a lot of um, it's not monochromatic, but that's what I want. I want to have a picture that is black and white and it's high contrast. Well, what I can do is I can create something that does just that. So I'm going to go into my picture styles here and I'm going to go down here to my user defined picture styles and I will hit info to go into that. And on my picture style, I'm going to begin with uh, the preset that comes with the camera. So I'm going to choose the preset of monochrome because I want this to be black and white. And I'm not going to use the monochrome preset that came with the camera because in my opinion, it's not contrasty enough. So I'm going to start there and then I'm going to go down to my sharpness and I'm going to take my sharpness and I'm going to take that way up. So it's all the way up to the max. I'll take my contrast. I'm going to take that all the way up as high as it can go. And then let's even go in. We'll take and we'll put a filter effect on that. We'll filter some yellow and then we're going to uh, not do any kind of toning on that. But we could if we wanted to. The point is you can make this what you want it to be. All right, so we have that set, and then what I'll do is I'll go back to my menu. Everything's good, and now let's take another shot of Stunt Pig here. And so same shot that we did before. We can clearly see that everything is set exactly as I wanted. We have that high contrast, really sharp image of Stunt Pig, and it's black and white. Well, this is great news for uh, JPEG shooters because now that you know what picture styles are, you can apply those to work the way that you shoot. In fact, here's some shots that I did uh, outside today and you can see how each scene looks differently using different picture styles. And so some look great, some don't. Um, but the point is you can change your picture styles or picture control or film simulation, whatever it's called in your camera, to work the way that you want it to work. And so when you get done, you can take those pictures right out of the camera and they're good to go. What happens if you're shooting in RAW? Do those picture styles apply to your RAW files? The answer is no, they don't. Unless you're using the proprietary software that comes with your Canon or your Nikon or your Fuji, 
it doesn't work. If you're using Lightroom, all those picture styles, they don't apply to your RAW files. Well, how do you cover that? Well, that's what we're going to talk about next week in next week's episode of Exploring Photography. So stay with us to see how you can do this for RAW files. It's pretty awesome. And speaking of next week's episode, make sure that you subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free, and so it will help you make sure you don't miss a single episode. So why not do it? Click right now to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Again, I'll see you next week, and we're going to talk more about this, but in RAW files. I'll see you then. I want to have higher contrast. I want it to be more sharp, or more sharp, much more sharper, much more sharper. I want it to be sharper. This. <laughs> we got Stunt Pig back here. He's going to be our model. And what we want to do here is, I mean, we're going to be talking about how a forklift screws up your photo shoot. This is just going to get the world's noisiest studio ever. Want to get the most out of your Adorama photography equipment? Visit our learning center where you can read popular articles, how-to tips, buying guides, and product reviews.